Jesus said many things that got people's uh, attention, and he did many things that got certainly our attention. But one of the greatest things he said that has gotten everybody's attention is this, love your enemies. Bless those who persecute you. Pray for them. Love your enemies. And so take that in right now. Jesus said he was ears to hear, let him listen. He said that over and over again. And Jesus actually repeated that several times in his three years of ministry. Recorded for us in the Gospels. Love your enemy. And so this week, as we continue to go through the, the Bible together, we're going through the Old Testament. We're still in the prophets. And we're in the book of Jonah. Uh, some of you are familiar with the story of Jonah. Right? God calls him to love his enemy because God loves even his enemy. And, and so God calls Jonah to go to a nation of Assyria, specifically their capital, Nineveh, but Jonah doesn't want to, and so he's running away from God. And then ultimately, Jonah is swallowed by a big fish. Jonah repents and says finally he'll do it, but he's not happy about doing it still, preaching the gospel to God's enemies and to Jonah's enemies, the people of Assyria, the people in Nineveh, and the people of Nineveh, the enemies of God, the enemies of Jonah, uh, they do repent. Uh, they relent. They, they change their ways. They stay humble underneath God, and they're no longer enemies uh, of God. And, and Jonah's not happy about it still. And so the thought today for you and I, as we live in the truth that we are called to love our enemies, is what is God calling us to do with this? What is God calling us to do. And I do want to share this with you about enemies of God. Uh, the Bible, the book of Romans, is the disciples of Jesus repeat this truth from Jesus. And you see it in the early church writings everywhere and certainly in the rest of the New Testament. But in the book of Romans, it says that while we were enemies of God, enemies of God, he died for us. Please remember that. Right? What he did for us as his enemy. Yes, his, his children, his, his creation, but when we were hostile towards him, we became enemies of him, right? But what did God do? And he doesn't ask us to do something that he himself hasn't done. Is it hard to love our enemies? Absolutely, yes. I love the Psalms. And the Psalms, when you read them, there's a lot of smack talk about enemies. But Psalm 139 puts it in perspective for us, the right faithful mindset, because the psalmist in 139 towards the end finally says, I hate my enemies, God smite my enemies. But then all of a sudden, he's honest with God and he says, all right, search me and break me of the things that are not of you, the things that cause me anxiousness, and certainly that's what enemies do. And so the psalmist brings it to God. God, is this really what you want me to do to my enemies? Is this really what you want to do towards my enemies? Who is my true enemy? So I don't know what's going on in your heart and your mind as you think through this. But we all have enemies, right? We all have people that don't like us. We all have people that are different from us. We all have people with different values than us. And certainly, right, many of you are believers in Jesus, and there's many people that don't believe in Jesus. But does that make them our enemy? And if, in fact, they are our enemy, what are we supposed to do? We are actually supposed to love them, to bless them, to pray for them. We're not called to gossip about them. We're not called to slander uh, about them. We're not called to not forgive them. In fact, we're called to do all the opposite uh, of all of that. And there are temptations all around when it comes to those that are different than us, those that we consider enemies, those that consider us their enemy. How do we treat them? How do we respond to them? Today, may you respond with love. May you respond bond with faithfulness that God first gave to us. May you pray for them that they would be blessed and that they would know the truth that you know as well. That while we're enemies of God, he died for us. Be blessed. It's time to love our enemies. <laughs>